deadly. That's how Representative Greg Stanton described our state's heat, not only for people outside. And then also people living in their homes who are in a position where they can't afford to pay their electric bill. So maybe they decide to keep the heat on, I mean, simply the air conditioner on a little higher. And that ultimately takes a, an impact on somebody's body temperature and their health. And that is potentially deadly as well. That's why he and 30 other Congress members signed and sent a letter to the House Committee on Appropriations requesting to bump up emergency funding for the low income home energy assistance program by tens of millions of dollars for Arizona and other South and Southwest states. Right now, the funding source disproportionately favors cold weather communities in the eastern part of the United States. We want to even it up so that Western cities, southwestern communities, particularly Arizona, get our fair share so that we can save lives here in Arizona. One study shows Arizona received about $48 million from the program in 2021, but only 3% of the state's eligible population received help. Representative Stanton says if passed, tens of millions of dollars could go to people trying to survive the heat. It's the right thing to do for the people of this country. It's fair and it will save lives here in Arizona and throughout the desert Southwest. Had a plan in place since 2019 not to cut off power during for people during the summer months um, to homes missing electric bills. Now, SRP announced they would not cut off power to homes missing payments during July and is extending that until August for economy price plan customers. To learn how to apply for help through the low income home energy assistance program, go to Arizona's family.com. Jamie, Casey Torres in this uh, newsroom for us tonight.